Hey guys, welcome to Technozar. This is Rohit Sharma, and in this video, we will understand the concepts of logic gates and the number system. Okay, and uh, after this, if you want to do some numericals, uh, do some questions based upon logic gates and number system, I will in the YouTube description. I will share the link uh, of my previous video where I have solved many previous year questions based upon logic gates and the number representation or the conversion between the numbers. Conversion between like binary to octal, octal to decimal, decimal to binary, like these numbers. Okay. Uh, in this video, I will only understand, uh, only explain you the concepts of the logic gates. How can you implement not and or x or x not using NAND or NOR gate that are that is a universal gates. Okay. Uh, and basic law, the Morgan theorem, like these concepts, I will talk about in this video. Okay. So before starting the video, I would like to suggest all of you to please join a telegram group that is Sorta for EC so as you can attempt quizzes uh, in quizzes uh, around I have I will solve around 500 plus questions and also we have launched our test series yesterday so you can solve 1800 plus questions related to the ISRO exam so that you can prepare well for your exams like VSSC, HSSC, IPRC, URSC etc etc. Okay, so let's start the video. Now, first of all, we will start with logic gate. Now, there are many types of logic gates like NOT, AND, OR, XOR, XNOR, NAND, and NOR. Okay. Here, NAND and NOR are represented as the universal gates. What do you mean by universal gate? Universal gate means that from these two gates, we can implement any gate like NOT AND or XOR, XNOR. Or also from these two gates, we can implement any Boolean function. Okay. Now, questions, the uh, question come in the paper like how many NAND gates are required to implement NOT gate? How many NAND gates are required to implement XOR gate? How will you find that? Okay. I will tell you a simple trick to remember this. Like, first of all, write like this NOT AND XOR XNOR. Okay not and or x or x not okay here write nand here write nor now one two three four five simply write one here two three interchange the date three two four five interchange the date five four okay now you can easily by seeing the table answer the question how many NAND gates are required, how many NAND gates are required to implement XOR gate? Only 4 gates are required, NAND gate. How many NOR gates are required to implement XOR gate? 5 NAND, 5 NOR gates. Okay, if the question comes, how many NAND gates are required to implement NOR gate? Then 4. How many NOR gates are required to implement NAND gate? 4. Okay, remember this table, this is very very important. Okay, now I will tell you some questions regarding the ISRO exam here. First of all, you have seen many questions like staircase switch. Okay. I have to explain this question because I have seen in every exam, in every electronics exam, I have seen that this question comes like in a staircase switch, which a gate is required. Suppose, suppose this is a staircase. This is a staircase. In a staircase, one switch is presented at the top of the stair and one switch is presented at the bottom of the stairs. Suppose I am apply I am at suppose at case one when both the switches are off, that is zero zero. Zero zero, then the bulb here, then the bulb here will not glow. Okay, therefore zero. Second when 0, 1 is off and 1 is on, then the bulb will glow. If the bulb at the top is on and the bulb at the bottom is off, 1, 0, then the bulb will also glow. 4. If the both the switches are on, then the bulb will not glow. That is in off position. That will be 0. Now, this truth table is for XOR gate for XOR gate that is A bar B plus A B bar which is equal to A XOR B okay therefore in a staircase switch we always use a XOR gate therefore now 
If a question comes on staircase switch, you don't have to see anything in the question, just tick on the XOR gate. Okay. First question this. Second, suppose two trains are coming on the same track. Suppose, suppose this is a track and here one train is coming from here, one train is coming from here and they both are coming on the same track. Okay. In this kind of situation, we always use AND gate. Remember this. Okay. This is a very important question. This can also come in ISRO exam. When two trains are coming on the same track, then which gate is required? AND gate is required. Okay. Now, I will tell you some properties related to logic gates. That is first is De Morgan's theorem. D. Morgan theorem. First of all, if x y bar is written, how can we write this? First of all, interchange the dot operator. First point, interchange, change the dot operator, operator by plus okay x plus y bar and bar okay so we can write x y bar as x bar plus y bar also okay second if we have written x plus y a whole bar then interchange the plus operator by dot operator that is x bar dot y bar this is known as de morgan theorem these are the two laws of de morgan theorem which are used in implement which are used in boolean expression okay now, I want to tell you something about bubbled gates, bubbled gates, bubbled gates like I am writing a table here, drawing a table here, NAND, NOR, AND, OR, okay, NAND, like this, NAND, NOR, AND, OR, and now, now write it upwards, NAND, NOR, AND, OR, okay. Now, bubbling the OR gate, bubbling OR gate, bubbled OR gate is also known as NAND gate. Bubbled AND gate is also known as NOR gate. Bubbled NOR gate is also known as AND gate. And bubbled NAND gate is also known as OR gate. This is also very important uh, for exam point of view. If in a question come, a bubbled bubbled or gate is also represented as and option is NAND, NOR, AND, OR then you will take NAND is the correct answer. Okay, this table is very important for exam point of view. Okay, now next is I want to tell you some logic minimization minimization technique first for not gate if x is equal to 0 then x bar will be 1 that is and also if x bar to the power bar is equal to x only bar bar will get cancelled for NAND gate now we will see for OR gate. Here in OR gate x plus x is equal to what? x plus 1, x plus 0, x plus x bar. Okay, always x plus x is x x plus 1 is always students write always students write that x plus 1 is x but x plus 1 is always 1 x plus 0 is x and x plus x bar is 1 now we will see for and gate that is x dot x x dot x bar x dot 1 x dot 0 x dot x is x x dot x bar is 0 x dot 1 is 1 and x dot 0 is 0. 
x dot f1 is x okay remember this now we will some see some associative law laws associative communicative laws associative law is if there is x dot y dot z we can also write this as x dot y dot z okay also x plus y plus z we can also write as write it as x plus y plus z these laws you have also studied in your classes in class 9th or 10th okay Communi communicative law in this x dot y can also be written as y dot x similarly x plus y can also be written as y plus x distributive law distributive law that is x dot y plus z can also be written as x into y is x dot y plus x z and x plus y z can also be written as x plus y z can also be written as x plus y plus into x plus z okay on solving this you will get only this okay this is the distributive law okay these are the laws which are used in the logic minimization technique and before this i have explained you the de morgan theorem and also what are bubble gates now we will talk about the number representation that is the number conversion okay total there are how many numbers binary decimal octal hexadecimal binary is 0 or 1 represented in the form 0 1 decimal is represented from 0 to 9 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 total 10 digits octal is represented from 0 up to 7 okay and hexadecimal is represented up to 0 up to till 9 and after 9 10 is represented as a 11 is represented as b 12 is represented as c d e and f is represented as 15 that is the last okay so hexadecimal lies between 0 to f okay these are the four types of numbers that we learn in number conversion in digital electronics now we will see how can we convert binary to decimal decimal to binary binary to octal and all these examples we will see in this topic okay first we will convert decimal to any system we have taken first case that is decimal to any now first of all i am taking decimal to binary decimal to binary in this i have taken number i have taken number 12 and i am saying that it is in decimal form we have to convert it in binary so first write this in the form okay divided by 12 2 6 are 12 the remainder is 0 2 3 is 6 the remainder is 0 2 1 is 2 the remainder is 1 okay now go from here therefore 12 can also be written as 1 1 0 0 okay this is the binary form of 12 that is written as 110 okay now we will see decimal to octal decimal to octal now i am converting 251 which is a decimal number into octal if i divide it by 8 we will got 31 and and the remainder will be 3 and after dividing uh, it by 8, 8 3 is a 24, we will get uh, around 8 as the, uh, 8 3 is a 24 and we will get 7 as the remainder, remainder. Therefore, we can write 251 in decimal, 2373 in octal, that is, this is how we can convert decimal to octal number. Next, decimal to hexa decimal 
to hexa. Suppose we have given number 351 and we are converting into hexa. We first we will divide it by 16. On dividing it by 16, the quotient will come out to be 21 and the remainder will be 15. 15 can be represented as F in hexadecimal. Okay. Now on dividing it by 16, the, uh, the quotient will be 1 and the remainder will be 5. Okay. So we can represent 350 of decimal in 155. 15f in hexadecimal that is this is how we can convert decimal into hexadecimal now case 2 any two decimal any two decimal means first of all we are converting binary to decimal suppose i have taken one number that is 1101 okay and i have to convert this number into decimal so this is that this is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 ka square 2 to the power 3 now 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power square plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0 1 into 2 to the power 3 is 8 1 into 2 to the power square is uh, 4 0 into something is 0 and 1 into 2 to the power 0 that is a ki power 0 is always 1 therefore this is 1 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 1 is 13 therefore 1101 can also be written as 13 in decimal form okay this is how we can convert binary into decimal now octal to decimal octal to decimal in this the number is given as 341 into 8 we have to convert into decimal form now 3 into 8 to 8 square plus 4 into 8 to the power 1 plus 1 into 8 to the power 0. 3 into the 8 to the power square is 3 into 64 plus 4 into 8 that is 32 plus 8 to the power 0 is 1. 64 into 3 is 64 into 3. After calculating this you will get 225 in hexadecimal number. Here we have convert 341 which is an octal into 225 which is in decimal form. Okay, now we will convert hexa into decimal form. Hexa to decimal. Okay, we have given as 1A2 16 ways that is it is a hexadecimal number. Now converting this 16 square plus A into 16 power 1 plus 2 into 16 to power 0. 16 square is 256 plus a is given as 10 10 into 16 is 160 plus 16 power 0 is 1 1 into 2 is 2 therefore on calculating this we will get 418 as the answer now we have convert 18 a 2 into into decimal 418 is the decimal number okay this is how we can convert these types of number also there are uh, there are many other conversion systems like binary to octal binary to hexa okay so Let's see that also. Now we are converting binary to octal. In binary to octal, I have taken one number that is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. We have taken octal and we know that octal is a 8. That is 8, 2, 2, 2, 2 to the power 3 is 8. Now number of bits is n equal to 3. Now I have taken groups of 3 okay now from 8421 code 8421 code if i write this as 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 therefore this number is 3 and this number is also 33 therefore this number can also be represented as 33 in octal okay this is how we convert binary to octal if we have to convert binary to hexadecimal binary to hexadecimal how can we convert 1010011010 suppose i have taken this number in hexadecimal we know that total number of digits are 16 that is 2 to the power 2 to the power 4 therefore n equal to 4 bits now i have taken groups of 4 okay 1010 in this 8421 is 8421 code is 1 8 plus 2 is this will be 10 this will be 10 and 0110 will 0 1 1 0 will be 6 now in hexadecimal 10 can be represented at a and a 6 therefore we can write this number as a 6 in hexadecimal therefore this is the correct answer okay this is how we can represent 
binary to octal and binary to hexadecimal. Now we should see octal to binary. How can we represent octal to binary? Now suppose we have given number 375. First of all we will separate out these numbers. Now 3 can be written, 3 can be written as 011 by 8421 code that is okay. 7 can be written as 111 and 5 can be written as 101. Therefore 375 can be written as 011111101 in binary. Similarly we can convert hexadecimal to binary. Hexadecimal to binary. In hexadecimal to binary I have taken one number that is f uh, that is 5ab. I have separated out these numbers. 5 can be written as 101 but it is hexadecimal therefore 4, four groups will be there. Okay. A, A is 10, 10 can be written as 8421 okay. B is 11, that is 1010, 1011, okay. 5AB can be written as this, this in binary, okay. These are some numbers that we have convert octal to binary, binary to hexa, jo bhi hai, theke? Ye sab humne kuch numbers aapke padhe hai yaha pe, theke? This is known as number conversion system, number conversion system now for questions related to this uh, logic gates and number representation i have already made a video on this in which we have solved some previous here questions based upon logic gates and the number representation you can refer that video i will share the link of that video in the youtube description and if you have any doubt related to this please ask me in the telegram group if and also please join the telegram group that is isrota for ece and secondly isrota for ece and secondly please like the video and share with your friend and also don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe the channel so to get further updates okay all the very best